Your LinkedIn profile headshot speaks volumes about you as a person. And if you're out there in the job market right now, it's important you're putting your best foot forward. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional LinkedIn profile photo for free in less than 10 minutes. They'll have you stand out in a crowded job market. Let's crack on. All right, step one in this process is actually just analyzing a current picture of you. There's different. There's a few different ways we can go about this, but step one in the process that I'm going to show you today is analyze a photo of yourself. What you want to do, find a photo of yourself where you've got a clear view of your face and upper body. Uh, that's because that's obviously what's getting used uh, for a headshot photo for LinkedIn. Okay, so I'm going to upload one of myself, pre-planned. Let me see. This is it. This is a photo of me. Um, it's me, you can see I'm in the video, that's the photo. Um, and what you want to do is you want to type a prompt something like this. These exact words aren't important, but the general direction of what's happening here is analyze this photo, describe it, um, what you're seeing in the photo. So analyze the picture, describe skin complexion, age, race, eye shape, lip shape, body shape, hair, hair. Her style and any distinguishing features, any distinguishing features, description you should create will be used. And then I say the, the description you use, will, I'll be using in another follow up prompt. So that's step one photo, type in a prompt like this. Okay. Um, and ChatGPT should come back with a description of myself that I can then use the base of a follow up prompt. Okay. This person appears to be a middle aged male. With bald hairstyle, his skin tone is medium brown, suggesting possibly South a South Asian, Middle Eastern, or mixed ethnic background. Pretty good. South Asian. I'm obviously got an Australian accent, but background South Asia. He's almond shaped eye, then the eye color is not, not discernible in the image. The shape of his lips average, not particularly full or thin. Okay, perfect. They've given me a description of myself, right? Don't necessarily have to agree with it, but what I want to do is take some of these words and put it into my next prompt, which is going to be. Step two is creating um, like a reference image for my link LinkedIn headshot image, okay? And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go into a tool like Leonardo. You can use Midjourney. So Leonardo is a, like an image generation tool, um, kind of like Midjourney. So if you've got Midjourney, use Midjourney. You can do it in ChatGPT. But what we're going to do at this step is we're going to enter a prompt to create a LinkedIn profile image based on the description of the me, um, that was just given step one. All right, so you come in here. I'm um, going to go image generation. You can see I've been playing around with a few different um, headshot LinkedIn um, headshot profiles um, here already. Um, but the prompt that I'm using is create a professional LinkedIn profile picture with professional background for a person with the following ca characteristics, right? And then what you want to do here is come back to this uh, description and input the different things that you got. Create a professional LinkedIn profile picture with a professional background for a person with the following characteristics. So you can make it a generic person. Sometimes I, well, when I've done this prompt, I've like given the person a name. So you're creating an, a LinkedIn profile picture or headshot photo for Paul and Paul has these characteristics, right? Let's actually do that. Background for for Paul, who has the following characteristics. Oh, no, I've actually generated that. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Let me quickly come back out. Um, well, there's Paul. <laughs> That's not me. Um, I probably just hit hit enter too soon, but I'll, I'd write stuff from the original description, right? Like, um, let's just copy and paste it in, so you can see what I've done. And this can be a little fiddly, right? You won't get the perfect image back on the first go, but you'll get the. Um, his skin tone, the phone, his skin tone is medium brown. So just. Uh, medium brown. Let's just not have anything about my anesthetist. Uh, he has almond shaped eyes and he's got almond shaped eyes and his eye color is brown. His eye color is not really important because you'll see why in a moment. The shape of his lips. Uh, it's not. 
let's just go. He is well groomed, short beard, and moustache that are nearly neatly trimmed. Uh, he has bald hair. No hair, and a big smile. Big, warm smile. All right. Whatever you want to put in that describes yourself, put it in here. So analyze it, get some des descriptive words, put it into this prompt, create a professional LinkedIn profile picture with a professional background for Paul who has the following characteristics. Look, if I had, <laughs> I could I could put a lot more in, right? But I think you get the point. So this is a bit finicky, so you're going to have to do this. This is not going to come back with a perfect kind of image of me. I might need to re do some reinforcement learning around the image, but let's just see what comes back. Okay. Actually, not bad. I probably need to actually hone in on my skin color a little bit more, uh, give it a bit more complexion, but I think you get the point. Keep playing around with whatever image generation tool until you get uh, someone that kind of has this look, posture, shape of your body. Um, and like the there's a bit of a match between like your upper body and that their upper body. So I actually think I could use this image here um, if you didn't if his skin was a little darker, right? But I think you get the point here. There's obviously other tools you can use mid-journey. You can also just come into Google and LinkedIn Headshot Professional and use the same descriptor, descriptor words that originally came back and find what we're looking for here is like a reference image of the LinkedIn Headshot <laughs> image that you want. And then when you've found one that you like, you go, download it, screenshot it, whatever you want to do, but you just, we're trying to create a reference image, not necessarily have your face, but like the, the look and feel. Like, so I like these images like this. Um, I probably wouldn't go that. This is awesome. Like if this is a really cool reference image, right? Oh, that's really professional. Anyway, so, you're getting a, a reference image, and then what you want to do, whether you've generated it from a tool like Leonardo or um, found it online in Google, then you want to come into. Uh, I just kind of revealed a little bit there. You want to come into a tool like um, FaithWhat Master, and FaithWhat Master is a GPT uh, that if you have access to the GPT store, type in face swap master. And what we're going to do is we're going to take my face and put it on the reference image. Okay. So come in here, hit the start swapping faces button. All right. You'll get this image. Hello to get started with swapping faces. Simply upload the images you'd like to use for the swap, for the swap at this link. Come into the link. So then what you do here is drop the image where face should be replaced. So this is the reference image, right? So whether you've gone to Google or whether you've gone to Google and got used one of these images, one of these images you found here, or you've gone to Leonardo and generated an image precisely like you want. Up the top here, you're placing that image, okay? So for me, I've got, an I've got a reference image. <laughs> Let me just pull this up for you guys, just so you can see what I've... I've done a bit of pre-planning. I found this reference image here. You see this guy? That's my reference image. Then, drop the image where face is taken from. So this is, should be an image of your face that you want to have in the LinkedIn uh, shot. So I'm gonna go back with my original photo. All right, then you take this code and you paste it back here and it will merge the two, okay? So I've already, I've done this before, so let's, I'll quickly show you what was generated last time I've done it. 
Um, so this can be a finicky step as well, but you can see my face on that photo. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Um, and so this is, let's see what it's come this time. Oh, awesome. There you go. It's replicated it. So this can be a bit of a finicky process, uh, but is it, it is a cost saver, I tell you, because there are tools out there that charge you money, AI tools out there, uh, 30 bucks, and I've just done that obviously for free, using free tools. Um, so that's it, guys. That's actually how you create a professional LinkedIn headshot for yourself for free. Step one, analyze the photo of yourself, get the description. Step two, create a reference image using a tool like Leonardo, Midjourney, etc., or just go into Google and find a reference image of something you love. Um, step three, use a face swapping tool uh, my personal favorite at the moment is Facebook Master. Um, it's free, obviously. So that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite tool, a uh, face swapping tool. So that's it. Is that, e- is that easy, guys? Give it a go. Uh, but for now, that's it. I hope you got value from this video. If you liked it, please lo- uh, like this video, subscribe, give me a comment. Uh, your feedback uh, means the world to me. Until next time, have a good day. Catch you in the next video. Peace.